Kim Marsh explains her sweet tribute to late son Archie on her wedding day The Coronation Street star and ex-husband Jamie Lomas lost their son, Archie, in 2009 when he was born 18 weeks premature. Kim kept a tribute to her son close to her heart on her wedding day to Scott Ratcliffe. Video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will auto play soon 8 cancel play now Kim Marsh says people didn't come to son's funeral because they couldn't cope by Anna Matheson celebrity and entertainment writer Seamus Duff 08 59, 25th of October 2021 updated 09 22, October 25th 2021, comments Kim Marsh has discussed the sweet tribute she made to her late son, Archie on her wedding day as she tied the knot with Scott Ratcliffe. The 45-year-old star and her now husband swapped vows in front of friends and family at the Royal Memorial Chapel at Sandhurst on Saturday 16th of October. Kim stumped in a strapless, ivory dress, while 33-year-old Army Major Scott looked smart in his military uniform, while floral arrangements at the event included beautiful yellow roses. The couple were joined by their children, with Kim's 26-year-old son David and 24-year-old daughter Emily from her past relationship to Dave Cunliffe, and 10-year-old daughter Polly from her past marriage to Jamie Lomas in attendance. To see all of Kim and Scott's wedding pictures and watch their wedding video please visit OK.co.uk OK. While Scott's six-year-old daughter, Renee, from his past relationship also in attendance. Speaking to OK, Kim explained that the flowers at the ceremony and the necklace featuring a cherub were special nods to her and ex-husband Jamie's son. Archie, who was born 18 weeks early in February 2009 and died soon after birth. She explained, David, Emily and Polly bought it for me as a Mother's Day present to symbolize Archie. I never take it off and I really wanted to wear it as it represents Archie. The other thing we did was have yellow roses dotted around. Yellow wasn't a part of the day at all. But the yellow rose is Archie's flower, so we decided we'd put them around the place to symbolize him. Kim and Scott went on to explain that their children are their focus after bringing their families together through marriage. And while the pair had considered adding to their family, they say they have their hands full with the children they have between them, while grandmother Kim also has a two-year-old grandson as part of her family after her eldest daughter gave birth in 2019. Kim said, as a couple, we don't want more children. I'm 45 and I can't physically have any myself anyway due to a procedure I had done several years ago. We considered adoption at one point but we're just so busy. While well, Scott added, we've got Polly and Renee, who are only 10 and 6, so we do have young children. We want to focus on them. Kim and Scott announced their engagement in July this year, and fast-tracked their nuptials after Kim learned her 76-year-old father, Dave, had been diagnosed with terminal prostate cancer. The Coronation Street star admitted there were lots of tears on her big day as her father walked her down the aisle. While Corey co-stars were also part of the ceremony, with Alison King acting as a bridesmaid, while Anthony Cotton, who introduced Kim and Scott to each other, was one of the groomsmen. Read all about Kim and Scott's romantic wedding in this week's OK! magazine, on sale Tuesday, October 26. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.